Okay, so here you get a rare treat on Wisconsin trout fishing. You get to see what river I'm at. So there's no need to hide the identity of this uh, this river, the Brule River, President's River, world famous. Uh, looking at some cohos or maybe a steelhead or two. Hopefully this guy's just sitting on a sitting on a hole with a spawn bag and not doing what I'm going to do, which is going to be casting on through. The water's going to be very high. Uh, but it should be clear enough to fish. But it is going to be high, which means there's going to be nowhere uh, to cross the brule. <laughs> uh, it's very forceful water, and it ideally uh, below 200 uh, CFS would be better. Uh, it's at about 220, um, which means it will be high. Um, this is a very popular fishery, so there are trails everywhere. I will just go up until I can get a hole and see what happens. Uh, browns are definitely in, cohos have come in, and the steelhead, uh, although everything's been late this year, uh, should, should be here, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, one car at the parking lot, that's a good sign. I'm a little bit more upstream than I would like, but I'm sure if I even went downstream or upstream one or two more axes, uh, I'd be into the uh, more than five cars at each uh, bridge section. So we'll see how we do. Another thing about this river, although this trail looks really nice, this mud here is as slick as oil. <laughs> So, I've got cleated boots. That still will not prevent me from having to be cautious, but it certainly will help. In any event, we'll come back on when I get on the water. Happy fishing. So, here's the part where we start coming down to the water. This is a little bit drier, so not difficult with cleats. But going down uh, here on the brutal, you can find yourself on your back very quickly. So I don't see uh, the angler with the truck right here, but I'll try a couple casts as I as I go along. to get my stuff uh, done up. Make sure that I'm not uh, looped up in any way. And I am not. And so this would be a great place to get on the other side, but I don't think that's going to be very successful. This water is high. It's actually a little better than I was thinking, so I'll start with gold. I'm going to use a big lure to start. And I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with this. It's a gold bullet. It's nice and heavy. It's got that big red egg on it and, um, and the tail. Of course, if I come across this guy and I'm fishing where he's fishing, I'm going to ask him what he's doing. And if he's doing the same thing I am, I'm going to ask if I can join him. If he's sitting on poles, um, I will then go around him. I am kind of curious to see the first few casts here. And the first cast is a stuck. God dang it. Now we'll lose this lure. Ah, and I lost 
lure. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, there are uh, plenty of uh, resident fish in the brule as well, so it's not like you can only find a lake runner here. Yep, and there was the little guy. First follower. Howdy. Good, you having any luck? Nothing yet, nothing. Nothing on hardware anyhow. Not even residents, which is kind of... I mean, I walked in at Rocky Run, so there's nothing. <laughs> Have fun. You too. Yeah, the bright sun just kind of makes a little difference. Water's better than I thought it would be, but uh, yeah, yeah, oh well. different Lake Superior Trib. And I don't know if it's clear yet or not, but I figured I would stop and check. Got a couple of places to look today. Go look and see. Yeah. So, this is dirty as hell. I don't know why I friggin... Yeah, it's better here than at the mouth. Well, yeah, did you see the bay? Holy shit. Yeah. It's fucking red out there. There's probably fish in here, but... Nice thing is this is all easement for the next, like, five miles. Yeah. Yeah, and I fished way up there. Caught residents way up here. Today? No. Oh, yeah, Before. I have in the past as well. Before. I came, when I was up here, God, it was probably three or four years ago now. Okay, so... After bust on the burl, let's see what happens here. Some pretty good, pretty good luck here yesterday. I mean, literally, I caught a fish in a half hour. This water is now um, it's dirtier. It's definitely dirtier. Oh, shit. Any luck? Uh, I caught a small brown probably about an hour ago. But that's about it. Oh, 
Are you going upstream still too? Okay. Okay. Well, I'll try and get out of your way then, not keep too much dirt up. Did you? Did anybody else go up and that you saw? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, there uh, there were plenty of fish here yesterday, so they're here. Uh, saw two. I mean, I literally stopped just before dark. A guy had two on a stringer. A guy had three on a stringer. I f made four casts and caught a t 21 coho. So, yep. So they're here. Where? Exactly. Who knows? Such a weird damn. Yeah. Here's a nice one. Excellent. So we'll get a, get a little better picture of this fish now. Yeah, it's definitely a coho. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely a nice coho. Looks like he goes about... This is a male too. That fish is that fish is twenty one. baby.
say that it's uh, an all-star morning, but we're off to a good start. Get this beautiful uh, coho. Um, and he's in really good shape. Really nice fish. Um, so, you know, it's tough going out here for lake runners. Uh, it snowed, it was uh, in the water. It was cold, it was uh, uh, snowing, ice in the rods, that kind of stuff. Um, I never did get a good measure on this guy, so we'll get a measure on this guy. That fish goes. Yeah, 20 and a half. 20 and a half, so. There we go. We'll get them bonked when we get out of here. Um, but. This was a pretty uh, rocky walk in. So, I'm anticipating that I need to keep uh, most of my wits about me, and uh, we'll see you at the next stop. Thanks for watching with Scott's Trout Fishing. Happy fishing. Oh, I did catch a uh, little brown, too. Resident? Yep, a little teeny guy, 10 inches. Maybe 10 inches. Water looks really nice. Just have to see if there's any fish here. Get it twice. Nice brown. There's a brown. Little resident. I'm starting to catch some fish. Looking up. Brown. Well, I just caught a decent brown. Um, I think I'll let him go though. But uh, nice guy. Okay, so here we are fishing with Sasquatch. And uh, today uh, we are going to be on a small, medium river with curvy deep holes looking for some cohos, maybe a steelhead here. We'll have to see. And uh, Sasquatch picked the winning team today. He got uh, got traded right at the deadline. He got the skunk uh, yesterday. So my team was definitely out of the playoff race. <laughs> see you on the water. Okay, so we made it through our. Oh, look at that pool. That is a fucking. Right we made it. News. Is it we really made it right through now? our hike in? And things look good here. This is about where we quit even checking holes yesterday. Yeah. This is one of the last ones I threw through. Oh, oh you did throw through this one then, huh? Yeah, just like five times. This is as good a spot as any to get in, yeah? Absolutely. We are in. Nice. nice. Let's get a good picture of it acts nice like a rainbow. Head, but nice boy, rainbow. Looks like a resident. Just a little cutie. Uh -huh. He's fat though. Yeah. The ones we caught yesterday were the one I caught yesterday was really skinny and not fucking yeah. crazy like this guy. Nice. Ooh. Strong, Strong guy. Yeah, guy. he's quaking. For a 10, 11 inch here. Nice. All right. Off the skunk. Skunk eliminated. There are trout in here. <laughs> 